What's up, y'all? This is your boy Rajon coming to you straight from Marshall Music, and today I have a special review video. Like, this is one of those fairy tale stories where you know what? You just need to see it to believe it. So, feast your eyes and your ears on what is known as the mark of the unicorn. This is the Motu M2. It's a two channel audio interface that will work great in the studio and also for live performances. But I mean, we'll get into all of that in a moment once I at least get it out of the box, along with its USB Type-C cable and product information. So, looking at the Motu M2, first thing we notice is that all the controls and IOs are set up on the back and the front of the console. On the front of the console, you've got two combination XLR and jack inputs for your microphones and guitars and stuff. Each of them has their own gain knob and their own 48 volt phantom power. Now, 48 volt phantom power on each individual input channel, that's not something that you really find a lot on audio interfaces. So for me, that's a major plus for these guys because some devices we're talking like guitars and keyboards, specifically those without an, or specifically those with an unbalanced output, right? Those aren't really meant to work with 48, phantom, 48 volt phantom power. So that voltage could end up damaging the gear after a while. Major shout out to the guys at Mo2, man. These guys had our backs, really appreciate it. Next to that or below, we have a zero latency monitor button. So this helps you to basically reference your recording or performance directly from the system. So you know like when you're recording into the microphone and it sounds like the sound is kind of coming in a bit late from your headphones, you don't need to worry about that no more, bruv. Just hit that button, it's all taken care of. Now, one of the big features on the Moto M2 has to be this full color LCD display here for your meters, input and output. Apart from the fact that it just looks great, but yo, it's actually practical. I mean, the resolution on it is more than impressive by my opinion. So it really helps you fine tune when you're tweaking your levels because you can more accurately see exactly how hard those levels are hitting. It's a major step ahead from what we're used to with those little block lights, you know, with that red traffic light that just pops up whenever you hit, whenever you're like clipping. So yeah, you know what I mean, right? Right. Cool. Next thing we have here is this big volume knob here. This is for your main monitor output. We've got another knob here for your headphone jack or your headphone volume. And of course, a port for your headphone input or output. On the back, we have an on and off switch. We have ports for MIDI in and out. We've got a port for your USB Type-C to connect to your laptop or your computer. And finally, we have RCA and quarter inch jack outputs. Now, talking about build quality, dude, this thing is mad solid, man. It's got a basically, it's got a full metal body frame. And in terms of the knobs and controls, the knobs are really proper, man. There's very minimal wobble to these. I also like how we've got this nice kind of rubber, sorry, not rubber, but it's like a very rough kind of textile finish on the edges that helps you tweak and gives you a bit more grip whenever you're touching these. The buttons are nice as well. They're not too hard or solid. They're actually kind of rubber, so it's very nice to touch those. One thing I did find a bit disturbing when working with this was that once you plug in an XLR cable into this, there is a bit of room for it to wobble, but I'm not gonna say that it's loose because I mean, once you've plugged it in, it's in, it's solid. It's not the type of situation where if you pick up your interface or whatever, then your cable suddenly starts falling out. So that was very comforting. Now let's talk about some of the standout features on the M2. One feature that I think a lot of gamers, podcasters and streamers are gonna love is called loopback. What that lets you do is that it lets you record your computer's output in combination with your microphone or guitar input while streaming all of that in one go. So for example, you're doing a radio show or you're doing a podcast, right? So you've got your main monitor, sorry, your main microphone running into this, going directly into your broadcasting software, anything like butts or OBS Studio, right? Then you've got your music playing from SoundCloud, YouTube, or your media player. Now, all you need to do from there is open up your DAW, set up an input channel for loopback, and that'll immediately capture everything that you're playing and saying. So if someone misses out on the live broadcast, bro, stress less. They can just catch the repeat because you recorded all of that, man. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I personally have been facing that issue for a very long time. And dude, 
that loopback function has made life so convenient for me, bro. It has changed my life. But, 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 but wait, guys, we're still not at the cherry on top. So check, the preamps that come fitted into this unit, next level over amazing. But hear me out when I say, as much as guitars, keyboards, and your vocals will work really well with this, even when they're coming in at low volume, but I cannot exaggerate this when I tell you guys that this product probably has the best latency performance I have ever experienced, Law. I mean, we had a guy on stage running his microphone through Auto-Tune Live. Dude, latency was the last thing I had to think about. Man, shucks. My final thoughts on this, I have to say, when it comes down to them calling this the mark of the unicorn, I get it, bro. I truly agree. This is truly a special product. But anyway, what do you guys think about the Moto M2? If you've tried it out, hit us up with your comments below. Also, if you guys wanna find out about any other gear, equipment, or instruments that you can grab off of these shelves here at Marshall Music, don't forget to check out www.marshallmusic.co.za. If you want any more information about any other gear, hit us up with the comment below and we'll get that info out to you as soon as possible. So yeah, guys, until the next review video, my name is Rajon. See you on stage.